How do you envision a beautiful summer Saturday? Going to the beach, maybe going to a ball game? For me, it's scouring through other people's garages looking for bargains. Today, I'm going to tell you how you can get great bargains at garage sales, and I'll explain that the things you need to know are, first of all, how to create a good route of the sales you want to go to, second, gathering the right supplies, and third, the art of negotiating prices. I attend over a thousand garage sales every summer and have found all kinds of great bargains, including electronics, LPs, toys, books, and even stuff that I've sold on eBay. One time I bought some software for 25 cents and sold it on eBay for over $200. We'll begin by creating a list of the sales you want to attend. A good route is critical to finding the best bargains. There are two sources that you want to look at for your yard sales. The first is online newspapers, and this includes the Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky Inquirer as well as the Community Press, and their ads can both be found online at Cincinnati.com. Go to the Classified Ad section and then to Garage Sales. Next, uh, The next source is Craigslist, and of course you go to Craigslist.com, make sure you're on the Cincinnati edition of Craigslist, and then go to Garage Sales. As you go through the ads, be sure you read them carefully, confirm the date, because sometimes people post their ads a couple weeks in advance, so you want to make sure it's the correct Saturday. Check and see if they allow early birds or not. If it says no early birds, you shouldn't go early. And also look to see if it's rain or shine, so you'll know if it's raining if that sale is still open and you can go to it. Next, you want to organize the route in a logical way. What you can do is actually copy the ads right into a document and then put them in order based on location. Uh, add directions if needed. If it's a street that you're not familiar with, you can look it up and put some directions in there that will help you. And also some other important considerations include the times that the sale starts, uh, the items if they're listing some things specifically that you're interested in, and also look for neighborhood sales because that's a great way to get to a lot of sales in a short period of time. Next, we'll cover the supplies that you need. Having the right supplies will improve your shopping success. Uh, one thing, of course, is money. Have plenty of money and have various denominations. I recommend 1020s, 10.5s, 50 singles, and a roll of 40 quarters. And then pack them in a way for easy access so when you're wanting to pull out that money, you can get to it very quickly. Another thing to think about with your supplies is sun protection. It's a good idea to wear a hat, something to protect the back of your neck, and also sunscreen. Apply some sunscreen before you leave and then bring some extra to add later if you need to. And of course, nourishment. Have plenty of ice water because you'll de develop a thirst while you're shopping. And have some high protein snacks, uh, granola or nuts for example. Lastly, we're going to move on to the art of negotiation. Effective negotiation turns a good bargain into a great bargain. First of all, make a favorable first impression. Have a friendly greeting for the person as you arrive at their yard sale. Maybe offer a compliment of their landscaping or, you know, maybe there's a pet. Oh, what an adorable cat. And if the kids are selling something, if they have a lemonade stand or they're selling cookies or something, be sure you buy something from the kids. That will make a very favorable impression. Then scout out the items that you want and gather them. As you do that, estimate in your mind a total of what you think that you'd be willing to pay for it. Another little trick you can use is as you pick up items, ask devaluing questions like, oh, how old is this? Or uh, does this have the power cord that goes with it? And then determine an opening a bid. What you want to do is decide the maximum that you're willing to pay for those items, but then offer, make an offer well below that. But phrase it in a favorable way. You can say something like, well, if you make these 25 cents, I'll, uh, I'll buy all of them. Or if I give you $5 for this, will you also throw this in? And then uh, there's probably going to be some counter offers, so be reasonable. Uh, also find a middle ground with the person. Have the money visible. For example, if you're offering 12 bucks, have that 12 bucks right there in your hand to make it more tempting for them to accept it and go ahead and make the deal. If necessary, you maybe can remove an item or two to find a middle ground, but again, always be friendly. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say that these are a group of items that I've picked up at a yard sale that I'm interested in buying. And as I kind of look them over and as I've gathered them, I have in my mind that the most I'd be willing to pay for this is $8. So what I might do is start out saying, mm, would you take 4 bucks for this? And we might go back and forth a little bit and end up at $6. So that would work out very well uh, for me and for them. Let's review what I've covered. 
I've explained how you can get great bargains at yard sales, and I've told you that the things you need to do are to create a good route of the sales, to have the proper supplies, and to learn the art of negotiation. So perhaps you and I will see, some, uh, see each other some Saturday morning. You'll recognize me. I'll be the one with an armful of bargains.